Thank you very much. What's your reaction, Prime Minister? Just rejoice at that news and congratulate our forces and the Marines. She might have been doubted in public and in private, but now we know that Margaret Thatcher's determination to retake the Falkland Islands never wavered. But the Falklands archives reveal an honest, rare admission from her. I just say it was the worst, I think, moment of my life. As British forces prepared for the decisive Battle of Stanley, she took a call in Downing Street. It was just before midnight in London. On the line from Washington was President Reagan. He had a plea, a final request for diplomacy. It fell on deaf ears. As Britain had had to go into the islands alone with no outside help, she could not now let the invader gain from his aggression, an official Downing Street log of the conversation reveals. She had lost valuable British ships and invaluable British lives. The relationship between the American and British leaders, which was genuinely special, was being strained. We see Mrs Thatcher's total conviction, her total... Um, her total grip and grasp on government, I think at this time she was listening more than perhaps at any other stage during her premiership, listening to expert advice and acting on it. Realisation in London that some British ships had been damaged or destroyed by French-made Exocet missiles owned by the Argentinians sent the government into something close to panic. Thatcher sent a fuming telegram to Francois Mitterrand demanding a planned shipment of Exocets to Peru be delayed or else. As you yourself agreed, there can be no doubt that Peru will pass them, the missiles, on to Argentina, she wrote. This would have a devastating effect on the relationship between our two countries. The threat worked. She was phenomenal. And all of the guys who went there, not all of them are fans of hers, but are all glad she was in charge. Shortly before the end of the Falklands conflict, Margaret Thatcher drafted a telegram to General Galtieri, the Argentinian leader, saying... In a few days, the British flag will be flying over Port Stanley. In a few days, also your eyes and mine will be reading the casualty lists. On my side, grief will be tempered by the knowledge that these men died for freedom, justice and the rule of law. And on your side, only you can answer that question. The telegram was never sent, though. We knew what we had to do. Thatcher's confident prediction to General Galtieri and sober reflection turned out to be correct. I believe so. We remember Thatcher, the victorious leader in public, but she was also a leader under unenviable domestic and international pressure in private. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News.